cannot ignore the importance of infantry fighting vehicles in the current Ukrainian campaign. Deploying the troops on the ground, providing them with cover and direct fire support. And behind me, you have one of the best vehicles for this task. It's a German-made Marder 1A3. The Marder has been a part of the German army since the 1970s. Originally designed during the Cold War, the machine has undergone significant modifications over the years. These IFs have now made their way to Ukraine, where they are fulfilling their original purpose, engaging in combat against Soviet machinery. First, it quickly identifies the enemy. Secondly, it engages the enemy very quickly. Marders were provided to enhance the Ukrainian counteroffensive campaign. The real heroes are the infantry squads that storm the trenches. They require proper protection. The Marder's primary counterpart on the Ukrainian battlefield is the BMP-2, which is Russia's most commonly used IFV. Volodymyr, the gunner of the Marder, has experience on both of these vehicles. The Marder identifies and engages the enemy very quickly. In the same time, the BMP fires 15 to 16 shots, the Marder fires 150 to 200, and you actually have to hit the target first from the BMP because it does not have such advanced aiming mechanisms. But it's not only the rate of fire. When confronting the BMP-2, the Marder's 20mm armor piercing rounds penetrate the hull of the BMP, whereas the enemy 30mm caliber gun cannot reach the infantry inside the Marder. When you're advancing, facing an ambush from the side, and a machine gun is firing at you, you know it won't harm you. Even when a grenade is thrown in your direction, you feel no fear, because the armor protects you. Ukraine has received only 80 murders, that's a relatively small number compared to Russia's hundreds of BMPs. But the confidence the murder has provided to the troops is evident. Ukraine can only hope that in future more of these vehicles will find their way onto the battlefield.